Well, the OECD wants to see tax rules across the world get an overhaul to stop companies exploiting the system. It says reforms could take years to go through. The organization's tax chief explained to me why it was such a tall order. You, you have three factors there. The one you've just described. Governments cannot fix this problem on their own. That's why they need multilateral action. That's why the OECD is relevant to do that work. Second, you have a political crisis. The political crisis comes from the fact that people, I mean, the hard worker in the streets, they face increases in personal income taxes. They face increases in VAT, value-added taxes. VAT has increased, the rate of VAT has increased in 22 out of 33 OECD member countries with a VAT system. So on the one hand, you have the people, the man in the street paying more taxes, and at the same time, big multinationals looking like they don't pay much tax, if any. And, and that raises a big political issue, and that's why there is political support. And again, across the world, from the US to Japan through Europe. When the system was set up, it was uh, easier to assess, wasn't it, where an economic activity was taking place? So you could work out what was the crossing borders, was basically. The basic architecture of the system dates back to the 20s, 1920s, by the League of Nations. Of course, we've, we've adapted it, we've we made it change, uh, we've uh, updated it, but, but we have not changed the whole architecture while the global business has changed the way it operates. And uh, you, you now have people traveling the world, you have digital economy where you do not have physical presence. And because of all that, it may be the case that the current architecture may need to be revisited dramatically. And that's what the OECD has started to do. It's so complex. Tweaking all of these systems to come up with a global system isn't going to work. You're basically going to have to overhaul the entire global system, aren't you? Well, you can say that it's so complex that let's do nothing. And if we do nothing, what happens? You just put an end to corporate income tax. Or you can say so. Or you can say we do have a system which is complex. I mean, domestic legislations are complex. And then you have in international tax relations, you have 3,000 tax treaties. This is complex. But you can say, well, let's revisit the basics and maybe we can fix it. And that's our ambition because we think we can fix it by revisiting some, some key principles. I mean, what are the rights to tax at source? What are the rights to tax when you have digital activities on your territory? And, and how do you put in place the rules? And we do have many countries lining up to do that.